It was homecoming night for the Chippewas as Central Michigan hosted Akron, hoping to bounce back after last week's disappointing loss to Buffalo. At the start of the game, the offense was slow to get underway as Jace Bauer struggled in the first half, throwing two interceptions for the Chippewas, one of which set up a field goal for Akron to take the 3-0 lead to open the game. CMU called on their kicker Tristan Madsen multiple times in the first half of this game to kick through some windy conditions. The first two that he tried did not go through, but he managed to kick a school record 58-yard field goal in the final minute of the first half to tie up the game 3-3 at halftime. When I first committed here, I knew it was... 55 yards, I think, 56, and uh, was excited. Coming out of halftime, CMU's defense sent the tone. Akron on their first drive of the second half looks to throw over the middle. The ball is tipped by Kyle Moretti and intercepted by the redshirt freshman Marcus Badgett. Akron may have had two interceptions on CMU, but the Chippewas matched Akron with two interceptions of their own. They're playing with confidence, and they're not letting you know a, a bad play carry over. And, and you're seeing that, you know, so what? Tear off the rearview mirror and let's go win the next one. And, and they've been doing that. And, it, and it's great to see. Off of that interception, Jace Bauer would punch it in from five yards out to get CMU's first touchdown of the day to go up 10-3. to three. On their next drive, the Chippewas would give it to Miles Bailey from two yards out, and he's in for the touchdown for CMU to go up by two scores. The Zips would bring it within seven points in the fourth quarter with a touchdown of their own, but in the end, CMU remains undefeated at Kelly Short Stadium and gets the win on homecoming 17-10. to 10. Winning at home is really big for us, especially when it's homecoming. Uh, you know, it's, it's big. We have a lot of graduates who come back to, to watch us play today. So, <clears throat> I mean, winning at home is amazing. The Chippewas are now 4-3 and three coming off of this win and are in second place in the MAC West just behind Toledo. They'll be hitting the road for a MAC West matchup against the Ball State Cardinals. Kickoff for that game is next Saturday at 3.30.